As we mentioned in our first video on properly setting up your laser tracker, you would like to have your radian in a location that allows you to acquire all of your data from a single setup, but that's not always the case. In that case, you're going to want to make sure you're able to find common locations between your tracker setups. These points are often referred to as common, tie-in, or relocation points, among other names. Oftentimes, these points will also be used as your control or drift points. These points are recorded at the beginning of any portable metrology job. They will be located on the stable areas that will remain constant with the part you're measuring as well as your measurement instrument. Typically, they will be recorded sporadically during the course of your job to ensure that your instrument and part have remained properly oriented to each other. If you see a large deviation between these measurements, it's likely that your instrument or part has been accidentally kicked, hit, settled or moved in some other way. As long as these points are within your specified tolerance, you can assure that your equipment and part remain properly stable throughout the measurement process. If these numbers fell outside of your tolerance, you would save the data that exists prior to your last drift or control check and proceed to the following steps that we're going to cover for tracker relocation. Whether your instrument moves 15 thousandths of an inch or 15 meters, it's still moved. When establishing these points, we want to give the best spread possible. This means we want to cover as much length, width, and depth as we can. This will ensure that our instruments are getting the coverage necessary to establish a solid best fit. To show this in a way that is clear and easy to understand, we're going to set up points on the side of this long part. We're sacrificing some of our depth and height to ensure the stability of our points. I don't want the simplicity of this move to be lost on anyone. The Radian's integrated battery allows the user to relocate the instrument without the hassle of powering down and powering back up the tracker again. This is a significant time savings. The most important aspect though is the added safety benefit. The integrated battery and wireless connection allow the user to relocate the Radian without the potential hazards associated with additional power cords and connection cables. As with any of our setups, the third-party software you use will determine the exact buttons click and naming conventions used, but the workflow remains consistent. When I began my metrology career, it was necessary to have consistent naming from each of your two tracker files. However, software platforms have become smarter. If the names of your points deviate from file to file, your third-party software will recognize the extreme similarity of each coordinate's deviation and will apply the naming convention of your nominal group to your measured or subsequent points. You'll find the metrologist will still maintain a structured naming system. This creates a well-organized and structured file. It also allows others to easily be able to interpret your data if someone else must address the file for any reason. Once your data from both radian setups has been fit, you can examine the deviation between each measurement in X, Y, Z, and overall views. This will allow you to remove aspects of your fit that may have been improperly measured or moved for any reason. Once your fit meets your specifications, you can accept it and start inspecting your part from your current Radian setup. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more or schedule a web demo or on-site demo of any of our equipment, please reach out to us at apimetrology.com to speak to a real metrologist today.